Catherine Ray is a real estate agent. I love helping everyone, but that first time home buyer is just so excited. Ten years ago, Catherine became a single mother after her divorce. Despite her successful career, she says it was hard to make a whole new life for herself and her boys, Bobby and Colin. I never saw myself being in a situation that I would face life alone. And um, it was just very, very scary. Then in 2007, when the housing market crashed, Catherine saw her income cut in half. She had to wipe out her savings just to pay the bills. So Catherine turned to credit cards. She racked up more than $20,000 in credit card debt. I was having to buy my groceries on my credit card just to have food in the house. Catherine and her boys always went to church and tithed even during the difficult times. She decided to fast and pray, and she started watching the 700 Club. Saw um, a couple of testimonies of how they went over and beyond, even in a time of need. I thought, I can go over and beyond too, and I know God will show His promises faithful to me like He has to others. Catherine continued to give to her church and joined the 700 Club, and God took care of her needs. It's just amazing every time how something would come through to help me to meet the financial obligations that I had. One year later, Catherine increased her giving to the 700 Club Gold level. Soon after, she sold a listing that gave her the biggest commission she'd ever made. Congratulations, Lisa. By the end of the year, she had earned $25,000 more than the year before. Catherine's younger son, Colin, believes in tithing and has seen God reward his obedience to give. When I got my first job, my mom asked me if I was going to tithe, and I said, of course I'm going to tithe. It was about 50 bucks, but I didn't mind. I was very proud of him. Catherine is steadily paying off her credit cards. She knows when she's faithful to give, God is faithful to keep his promises. I learned to have a deeper relationship with God and to trust him for all my needs, that he is my source, not real estate, but that God is my source.